What's up, what's going on guys, your boy Crimson Dragon Ian here back at it again with another uh, UFC 4 video, um, kind of a request by somebody uh, in the comments yesterday, I believe his name was Richard, um, he requested uh, how do I make Cosmo in my from Kang and Asher, so here we go, I'm going to show you guys the full tutorial of how to make him and why I chose the things that I chose, so uh, here we go. We'll go fighter. Oh, actually, yeah, fighter type, right? That'll be good. Um, I put him as a jujitsu vanguard, I believe, right? Yeah, jujitsu vanguard. Um, I feel like I wanted to do this one because uh, Cosmo uses his striking a lot in King and Ashra, and um, like his stand up isn't that good. His stand up is more so to get into his grappling, and the other stand up was just horrible. But like. <laughs> Like, Cosmo actually has, like, really, really good, like, stand-up. Um, not good, but kind of, like, uh, dynamic, I guess is the word? I don't really know. But anyway, uh, it's got really good, uh, grappling. His, uh, yeah, submission offense is really high. Submission defense is not that good because you want to be kind of, like, always on a submission offense with the guy. And uh, he's got like, you know, okay stuff. You got to be wary of the body a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's why I chose that fighter class. Also, it's got um, a variety of moves that you can use for the Jiu-Jitsu uh, Vanguard. Like as you can see here, you got like spinning back fists. You got overhand, Superman punch. They're not good per se. But it's just the fact that you have them there, which is pretty good. Uh, you got some kicks over here. Um, you got like body side kicks and uh, you got hook kicks, side kicks. I uh, got some leg kicks in there. Uh, you got hand plan roundhouse. It's actually really good for a jiu-jitsu guy to use. And um, I believe he also even has a cartwheel kick, right? Yeah. Uh, he's got a lead flying knee, which is really good. Like it trips a lot of people a lot because they're expecting um, the, the body knee. Like right there, seeing that it goes for the lead flying knee. I feel like that's really good. Uh, his clinch hooks and uh, attacks are here. Clinch knees are really good. Um, the wrestling single leg. He's got some good takedowns. Um, yes. Uh, he's also got... What, what, what happens if you click these? Oh, I didn't even know you can click those. But yeah, everything is really good on jujitsu side. You know what I mean? And the submissions, of course, he's got a lot of submissions you can do. The king of stranglers. Had to make sure I got that. I don't even know that's how you did an Minari roll, to be honest with you. Actually, does he have an, uh, uh, Osoto Gari? I don't think so, right? It would tell you if he does, right? Yeah, I think so. But, um, yeah, and the combo, he's got good combo. He's got, uh, kickboxing and traditional combos, which is something that Cosmo Mai has in the show, actually. So I feel like that's actually, this class fits him really well. Um, general info, uh, he's a featherweight. He actually is a featherweight in the show as well, which is pretty interesting. I think he's like 147, I think. And he's 5'6 in the show. Um, Cosmo and my, I named him the Crusher. I, I don't know. They didn't have Strangler or anything like that. So, uh, King and Ashra, he's from Tokyo, Japan. Cosmo and my actually is 19 years old in the show. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, I put Fabricio Werdum as his uh, posture because... Uh, I feel like Cosmo is pretty close to Fabricio Werdum, um, where Fabricio kind of uses his uh, dynamic striking to initiate his jiu-jitsu. So the walkout music, I didn't really pay attention to. It's just kind of like whatever. Uh, the appearance. Um, his hair. Uh, pretty interesting about his hair because if you watch the show, you notice that uh, Cosmo kind of puts his hair up. But then when he when he first starts, it's kind of like down. So it kind of looks like this. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I guess you can do this for Cosmo's uh, down hair, I guess. And um, yeah, wow, they really don't have the hairstyle like that. But anyway, yeah, um, the. Eyebrows, I kind of left. I think these are the default eyebrows. Um, the facial hair, he kind of has a little bit. Actually, Cosmo has a clean face, so you kind of don't want any facial hair on there. 
Uh, his body hair, he doesn't really have any body hair either that you see. Oh no, because he took his shirt off. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have any body hair. Um, put the light blonde on him because that's that's his uh, well color and the dark blonde for his uh, eyebrows because if you put on light blonde, it looks like he's got no eyebrows. That's a no go. And uh, the facial hair you don't worry about that, and the body hair you don't gotta worry about that either. Um, the head you guys know I don't really focus on the head too much. I just kind of put it on template thirty seven. I feel like that was the closest to what Cosmo looks like a little bit. So. There you go. The eyes, I put them as light green. And for the face, you don't gotta follow what I do. Like, you're not following anything, really. But, like, the face, you can kind of mold it and sculpt it. I'm just not good at that aspect of creating a person. So, I just don't really mess with it too much. The body, I feel like body three kind of uh, expresses uh, Cosmo's body type. Because, like, in reality, he looks like this. But you can't really... It just looks ridiculous. I mean, I guess you can put him as that, but I don't know, man. I just feel like Body 3 kind of fits what Cosmo is all about, his style and whatnot. So, uh, tattoos, you don't gotta worry about that. He doesn't have any tattoos. Clothing wise, uh, I put um, in short sleeve, I put Greek blue. I feel like that matches uh, Cosmo's rash guard that he actually has in the show. I feel like it matches it pretty well. It's kind of like light blue and yellow on the arms and the um, the neck right there. So I feel like that was pretty good. Um, bottoms. Now they actually do have matching bottoms. Like they got Greek blue bottoms. But I don't think they have it in Valetudo. Or I don't have it in Valetudo. So I just kind of put ocean blue. Um, I'm not sure if it will fit well if it was um, Greek blue. I'm going to see if I can find it. I don't think... Um, oh, these are nice. <laughs> uh, I don't think they have it in Greek blue. Um, I can't find it, so I'm assuming they just don't have it. Uh, I have no idea. But either way, I feel like ocean blue just fits it well. And uh, the gloves... Um, Cosmo Mai fights barehanded, but you have to have gloves in this game, so I kind of just put the pride gloves on him. Uh, I wonder if any other gloves would fit him kind of well. I don't think so. Those gloves are nice, though. Uh, probably the ropes, but I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to put, like, some regular gloves on him. So I just put the pride gloves on him. But, uh, and the mouth guard, uh, well, Cosmo does wear a mouth guard, so I just kind of left it as a regular, regular mouth guard. But, uh, yeah. Um, that is my Cosmo Imai. Um, how about I take him for a match online, and then, uh, you can see how he works. Alright, I'll see you guys in the fight. Whoop! Alright, coming up next. All right, here we go. We got Cosmo Imai versus Conor McGregor, Featherweight McGregor. Here we go. Hopefully I can give you guys the... Cosmo Imai experience. <laughs> Alright, here we go. No touch. Oof. Okay, he's pretty fast. Oof. He loaded up there. Caught him there. Oh, straight right. What? Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And both guys really throwing with the board. Oof. So he's a really good boxer. Oh no! Woo! Oh wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. That was dumb. <laughs> that was really dumb. There we go. Damn. Bop. Oh, massive 
There we go. Big left hand there. Oh, nice right hand. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Got him. Oh. He's got him right here. Here we go. Oh, what? Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Connor McGregor. Oh, straight right. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> nope. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Got him there. Under a minute now to go on the round. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Come on. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Started to do some really significant. Got him there. Here, another strike lands there. Fifteen seconds to go. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the oh. All right. Bit of a rocky start, but I think we got that back. I'm still just striking with him, though. I kind of want to try and take him down. I think I did try. I tried a couple takedowns in there. Let's see if I could take him down off a rock. Second round here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't understand. Can I hit him from here? What the hell? I thought I could hit him from there. He's gonna go up. Why did I not deny? Does he not know how to defend? Oh. With your feet, you elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hands back, hip heights up. Motherfuck. What the hell was that? Straight to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Conor McGregor gets the tie clinch here. That was weird. Real body kick. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. When he sees this, he just makes a slight little move. Oof. Right or left to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage. Bam! You can't necessarily relate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Liver oh, beautiful hook! All right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave from where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ooh. Oof. Serve him up. Go get him. Got him. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to Oh, that should have hurt him a lot more. In this combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the rest... Oh! Just misses with the straight right. Oof. Told you they always fall for that. That lead flying knee, man.
All right, so I'm getting the round at the end. But I don't think I'm winning the fight here. Definitely want to end it on a submission, though. Play by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Got him. Great action. There we go. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Nope. Here we go. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his. Oh, now he's in trouble. There we go. We are getting him now. Yup. There we go. <laughs> Woo! The King of Stranglers ends it on a submission. There we go. And uh, yeah, guys. So that is my Cosmo and my... Um, Maybe you can find better ones online, or, or maybe you come with a better one. Um, but this is mine. Hopefully this helps you make Cosmo MI, or make your uh, own version of Cosmo MI. And uh, yeah, let me definitely let me know if you want me to do other characters from King and Ashura. I wouldn't mind doing that. That would be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, guys, there should be other videos on the channel for you guys to check out. Uh, the squad tournament is going to continue soon, as well as For Honor videos are going to be made, I promise. As well as other games, I gotta find out what other games I could probably put up on the channel. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.